Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching. Today I have this Jigsaw inspired Halloween makeup look ready for you guys. If I was going to wear this look out today, I would definitely have gone the extra mile and applied the white face paint all the way down on my neck so that you can't see, you know, the skin difference here. But if you want to know how I got this look, please keep watching. Hi everyone, so I'll be starting by applying my primer underneath my face paint. Next I'll be applying my white face paint with this brush. This face paint works best if you wet it so I got a cup of water here and I'm going to dip my brush into it before working it into the paint and then the brush picks up enough paint to put actual color on my skin. And I'm going to go for white like this. I can make it thinner or thicker but that's kind of what I have in mind. After waiting a few moments for the first layer to dry, I'm going to go in with the same face paint and add a second layer. After letting the second layer dry, I'm going to take this fluffy brush and this white eyeshadow and I'm going to put it all over the face paint to set everything. The reason I'm using this and not my white setting powder that I have is the setting powder has a little bit of grayish skin colored undertone and you can't add something like that over white face paint so I'm going to be using white eyeshadow to keep it as white as possible. You can add as many layers of face paint as you want until you get the coverage you want or you can just use a higher coverage face paint but I was going for this pasty white look instead of a full white look so this is why I decided to use the one that I have. Next I'll be doing my eyebrows and for that I'll be using this Kylie eyebrow pencil I guess. It has the spoolie at the end and it has the brow color on the other end. I just added some dark brown eyeshadow to darken them up a bit because I really want my brows to stand out. Like if you've seen the Jigsaw doll, doll, the brows are really prominent on the face. So that's why I decided to go totally overboard, color them in all the way and make them look like this. Next, I'll be going in and I'll be doing my lips with this Milai Cosmetics lip liner. And I'm also going to be filling in my lips with this red color.
I'll be going over that with this Kylie liquid matte lipstick color that's called red I suppose it doesn't have anything on it so I'll just be applying this over the red lip liner that I just applied I'm using this black eyeliner to color in my eyelids so that the black eyeshadow I'll be applying next will stick better to my lids and come out darker. I'm applying this eyeshadow all over the eyeliner I just applied and I'll also be putting this black on my lower lash line. Using my blending brush and that same black color, I'll be blending the black into my crease to start creating the smoky eye. Then I'm using this eyeliner to line my inner waterline. After that I'm just using some black eyeshadow to blend my waterline with my lower lash line. With this angled fluffy brush I'm just blending out the black some more to create a more smoky effect. Picking up this white shadow and black shadow to create a greyish color, I'll be diffusing the edges of the smoky eye even more by using this grey color all around my eyes. The idea is for this to be a messy, smoked out look, so don't worry about going too low on your lower lash line. Next I'm applying my mascara. Feel free to use as much mascara as you want to or to apply false lashes at this point. Now for the spirals. I'll be starting in the middle of my cheek, kind of between where my eyeshadow ends and my eye ends and I'll be drawing the spiral on my cheek. When you're doing this, it's better to work in one go to start drawing and not to stop at the end. That works out much neater than it would if you go and do one section and then another and then another. So place the tip, make sure you're going to work in the same place and then slowly work your way around until you have the spiral as big as you want it. And that is how you do the makeup for this look. And this is the final result. Please tag me if you do this look for Halloween. I heard there's a new Soul movie coming out and I think Jigsaw is going to be all over the place on Halloween this year. So, thank you for watching and I really hope you enjoyed the tutorial.